it was in March or April, March of 2020. I just remember March of 2020 when Savi called me, uh, we connected. I told him to go to, you know, he asked me what I'm doing, da, 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 da. And then I told him, hey, if you're interested in something, what do you know about stem cells? Please get on my podcast. He liked it. He joined it. And I was like, what is your dream? What do you want to accomplish? He goes, I want to build the biggest medical doctor like. And the first person, guess who he called? Dr. Harmon. And I'm just going to say who this man is really quick. Okay, so he's been a chiropractor for over 30 years. He has a clinic, the, um, um, the Clear Mind Health Institute. And the man basically is in this community every single day helping all of you. And you all know that. And, you know, and that he is the forefront of, of helping people in the mind is amazing. And I remember Savvy Vargas saying, I'm going to go share these patches with the most renowned doctors in Idaho. And you were first on his list. So thank you. And, and the thing is, he's the coolest network marketing doctor in network marketing, period. Oh, man, I got a lot, of, a lot to live up to. Yeah, I am. Um, thank you for that introduction. Savvy, could you go push the uh, second from the bottom on that? Oh, somebody already did that. Oh, you did it. No, he's turning the lights. All right. <clears throat> so I appreciate uh, the introduction. Um, my voice is a little uh, deep this morning. <laughs> I went up be behind someone and I said, <laughs> Tanya Hobel, I scared her. I went up behind her and I said, come with me if you want to live. And <laughs> I think she had to go out and check something in the bathroom after that. <laughs> Anytime. <clears throat> well, thanks for having me today. I am really, really excited to share this information about how the patches work. My goal is to put it in a simplified form so that it's really easy to understand. And not only that, that you'll be able to pass this information on to others in an easy to understand format. Not everybody has all the big doctor words and you don't really have to. And I wanted to kind of put everybody's mind at ease that you do not have to be a practitioner, A, to tell people about the patches, B, to tell them how they work. Now, I would like to say that nothing that I'm saying in this presentation is uh, intended to be <clears throat> taken as a diagnosis or um, a treatment or that the patches treat or cure or prevent any disease. You know, we always have to do that disclaimer. And no one should ever promise that. Uh, but we can say these patches help the body just be the best they can be. Um, and you're going to find out exactly how that works and be able to go forth and share it with confidence. That's my goal. So I'm going to do a little sh a screen share here. Oops. <clears throat> there we go. Would everyone confirm that they're seeing that on the Zoom? I do not think they are. So let me go back. There we go. Oh, I better make sure. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to stop that. That's all right. Dee, 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 dee. <clears throat> I think we're there. All right. I just need to get rid of that. And you see. <clears throat> oh, and I need to get my little um, remote. No, I'm not going to be able to do that. He's got both of my USBs. I have a remote uh, advancer, so I'll just stick here by the stage. All right, you see, I, I, I would assume that everyone in this room knows what this is referencing, uh, the Wizard of Oz. <clears throat> and I hope as I go through this presentation, you know why I put this up there. And um, there's, a, there's a scene in the Wizard of Oz. First of all, that was this, 
one of the scenes in the Wizard of Oz was the scariest that I had as a little kid when the lion comes bounding through the forest. Does everybody remember that? You can actually see the little trampolines he was jumping on, but uh, <clears throat> but it's it's the scene where the big ball is coming down. It's towards the end of the movie, and the good witch Glinda comes out, and Dorothy goes up and say, "Oh, would you would you help me? Can you help me? Oh, you don't need help anymore. You've always had the power to go back to Kansas." <clears throat> Excuse me, and and she said, and then uh, the scarecrow said, "Why didn't you tell her before? <clears throat> Why don't I just show you that clip? How about that?" Okay, pay attention. There's a lot of metaphors in this, <clears throat> and there's no sound. <laughs> okay, Marcy, will you call? Do you have his number? 208-794. I was reading it off to you. Technical issues. I might be able to do it myself. Uh, let's see. Speakers. Sorry about that, everybody. We had it set up and then we we changed the setting because they couldn't hear it on Zoom. <clears throat> we had audio on Zoom. What's that? We had audio on Zoom. You have audio on Zoom, we just don't have it here. We don't care about you, we just care about ourselves. <laughs> just kidding. <clears throat> All right. Maybe I'm going to have to do the voiceover. <clears throat> He's coming. Okay, I'll get it to the part where there's actually talking. Oh, would you help me? Could you help me? Well, you don't need any help anymore. You oh, had power to go back to Kansas. Well, why don't you tell her before? She have oh, she had to learn it for herself. What have you learned, Dorothy? And what did you learn, Dorothy? Well, I learned if I want to go find something, I should not look any further than my own backyard. Well, it's not really exactly what she said. I won't go any further than my own backyard. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Now click your head together and you'll be back home. I should have felt it in my heart. No, I should have felt it in my heart. Now those magic slippers will take you home in two seconds. Okay. Um, can you get us down? Never mind. We'll just go on. <clears throat> yeah, I, that's all the audio that I have. So we're good. <laughs> you'll never forget that scene now. All right. What's that? Click my heels together. All right. <laughs> all right. That's great. So we come to this slide. <clears throat> we all have choices, don't we? I'm going to show you how you don't need to go searching anywhere beyond your own body for the energy and frequency that powers these patches, as opposed to down to the corner drugstore for another chemical to change the symptom. Uh, you don't meet, know me, as she already said, I've been a chiropractic physician for 32 years. <clears throat> I'm board certified in QEEG and neurofeedback. That's quantitative EEG. Uh, I knew I needed to get some uh, specialized training to go off on this other journey that was, sometimes it feels like foisted upon me. 
uh, but it was actually a great, a great shift. We had lots of things happen and I went off in a different direction and now I don't do chiropractic anymore. I just do brain stuff. Um, father of eight. Yes. Grandfather of 24. <laughs> we went to Disneyland with my daughter and her husband and four, four boys, seven and under a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I think that qualifies as wonderful chaos. Uh, founder and owner of Clear Mind Center of Idaho. We're right in Meridian, Idaho. We help people get their brains right. <clears throat> That's my contact information, drjharman at gmail.com. I don't think there's anyone in this room who probably doesn't have at least a basic understanding of what's going on in this slide. <clears throat> Did you know that our soul is composed of harmony? You can look at disease as a form of disharmony. There's no organ system or tissue in the body that's not affected by sound, music, and vibration. Truly, they could have just left it at vibration because everything is a vibration. Sound is, is just on a different part of the spectrum. Infrared, visual light, everything is just a different vibration. You can look at vision as visible sound and sound as audible vision. It's just a different frequency and we have organs that interpret light and it trans transforms it into a, a to visual and then our ears take those vibrations and now we hear things it's just different but you see this representation of a human form right here frequencies going through them i guarantee everybody's cell phones <laughs> they the signal is going through you you're not and, and somewhere else in the hotel they're they're going through us. We, we can't interpret that, but it's still there. I want to tell you, there are a lot of other things going on around us that we don't know about. For example, you two right there, you're getting each other's biophotons and <laughs> they get closer together. You're sitting near someone, we emit light and frequencies. And when we're near some, we're, we, we pick that up. That's why it feels so good to hug somebody. <clears throat> In 2009, Japanese researchers figured out that humans glow. We actually glow. We emit what's called bioluminescence and it's measurable. Some of it is in the visual light spectrum. It's just not bright enough for our eyes to see. But instrumentation, instruments can, and, and it's more around the face and the neck and more in the afternoon, but it's always there. I want to tell you, this is what David Schmidt captured. This is what powers the patches. And I hope you have an understanding of that by the time we're finished. This is a picture I took of the Nepali coast off the island of Kauai um, a year ago this past May. So about 13 months ago, I guess. I had no idea that eventually a year later, I was going to find a picture of a plant at the top of that ridge in the background where they, where someone hooked up a midi sprout that interprets the photons that are going on inside of that plant. And, you, and they convert it to those light frequencies they slide the scale into the audible range so that we could hear what it would sound like if we could hear it. So here's that plant, one little plant up at the top on the Nepali coast. I would be singing this song if I lived up there, but take a listen to this. Oh, we're probably not going to be able to hear it. Oh, oh, I see. Oh yeah, okay. And then get rid of sound and start that, start that. There you go. There you go. Whoops, sorry. I shared the wrong one. Uh, Stop share. share. Yep. And then you can go there. Let's use that one as a direct mode. No, we can't hear it. What's that?
Can they hear it on Zoom? All right. Um, this is really important. Can you call him? Because there's um. All right. Let's see. What do you got? Oh, let me just turn the sound up. Still not hearing it. Hmm. Okay, hang tight here. We're getting to it. We can't hear it here, but they can on Zoom. So, Mr. The guy who. Stop sure if you need to. This is the guy you like to have on hand. The guy who makes the big bucks for the audio stuff. Okay. It's this one? No, this one. Okay, well, let me check that real quick. That was video. Speaker, microphone, nope, that's perfect. Okay. Try it now. Facial mask. This is the little plant singing at the top of the bridge. So we're having never had Yeah. So that I I wanted to show you that because I'm not gonna try this one. That was that's a mushroom. <clears throat> but just know that plants also emit photons. By a raised hand, how many people have ever hugged a tree? Uh, more than half. Guess what? You've always been right. You get that those photons when you hug a tree. That's why it feels so good being out in nature. Well, today I'm going to tell you about a man, but I'm not going to tell you about this man. Everybody probably recognizes him. That's Nikola Tesla. I'm going to talk about someone who's on the level of Nikola Tesla, and that is our founder, and CEO, yeah, give a round of applause for David Schmidt, CEO of LifeWave. Um, I don't think I've ever known someone with who's at the highest level of geekdom, but who also knows how to manage a business. And um, he's a very, very smart, intelligent man. Um, prior to 2004, the Navy turned to David Schmidt to come up with a way of naturally increasing energy in uh, Navy SEALs who were on long missions in submarines because they were uh, taking amphetamines and other stimulants and getting addicted to them. So they said, David, hey, see what you can do to increase energy in these people. He came up with our first patch. It's called the Energy Enhancer Patch, and it increases fat burning for energy. Uh, we don't tout it as a weight loss, but it causes our body to burn 300 to 600 calories more per day in sustained energy. I'm wearing mine right now. Uh, probably others in the room have them on. That was our first patch. But the whole point is David 
figured out how to utilize, back to this slide, those biophotons and reflect them back into the body specifically. Each patch has a different type of crystal structure that only reflects back a certain frequency that then turns on a different pathway in the body. We're talking about the X39 today. This one elevates a certain peptide. We'll get to that. So he invented a new form, a new way of taking care of the body, like AKA healthcare, but we can't call it healthcare, right? Because the FDA, but in my opinion, it's a different form of healthcare. We just can't say that. But he's reusing energy our bodies are already making. <clears throat> so let's go through this right here, this little thing. Everybody knows the connection between vitamin or sunlight and vitamin D. Julianne, Peach, is there vitamin D in the air? Julianne says no. Kathy, is there vitamin D? Kathy Shoden, is there vitamin D in UV light? A little ambivalent there. <laughs> I think that I got a maybe. Uh, no, there's not in UV light. So how does that happen? Well, here's some news. We have probably trillions of antennas on our skin for picking up different frequencies. And UV light stimulates a certain receptor that then signals our body to make vitamin D. You see it right here on the screen. You see UV light, you see 7-dehydrocholesterol. You don't even have to know that. It converts it to vitamin D3. So this is what David did with these patches. He, and LifeWave is the only photobiomodulation therapy or phototherapy that uses the human body as a power source. So what actually happens when you place an X39 on your skin? You see this little patch. Um, Peter No showed you how big it is. It's not very big. It's like a small Band-Aid. But you see the whitish material right there. That's the new form of crystal structure. It's flexible and it's very thin. And you know what? If you don't know this already, either side touching your skin does the same thing because it's the opposite side of the same substance. So you do not have to wear them on the skin. I do not wear them on the skin and I've used them for two years and they have, I've received tremendous benefit that I'm gonna tell you about. So just know that if you get a little heat rash or skin irritation, uh, they're hypoallergenic. The adhesive is made by 3M and only one in 10,000 people will actually be allergic to it. Um, I happen to be one of those people. I was so discouraged when I got this, you know, oh my gosh, it's itching. But I just have them on my collar where they're supposed to be and they're touching my skin on the non-adhesive side. So any of you out there are in the same boat, just know you can use them. So what actually happens? It's kind of a roundabout way. The patch goes on the skin and it signals your body to make more of that GHK copper peptide. For those of you who don't know what that is, I want you to go to this website right here, reverseagingwithghk.com. And I have some screenshots and we're going to go over it because this is really, really important to know that just about everything that on this website is potentially happening in your body when you wear that patch. Look at this, skin and hair, tightened loose skin, repaired protective skin barriers, improved skin firmness, reduced fine lines, smoothed rough skin, reduced photo damage, anti-cancer, it's the number one or bioactive compound recommended molecule for the treatment of human metastatic colon cancer. We don't make that claim, do we? This next one, I want you to know what this is. Programmed cell death. It's called apoptosis. When I'm a normal skin, how does it work? I'm happy. I got my neighbors next door. They, they kind of make it so that we need to, need to mute somebody. Sound like a dog barking. Um, normal cell, they butt up against their neighbors. Sandy, can you mute somebody, please? 
when you butt up against your neighbor, it tells the cell, don't keep growing. Cancer cells don't have that inhibition and they just keep multiplying, 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 multiplying. That's what cancer is. The GHK copper peptide reset that programmed cell death in, neuro, in these cancers right here, neuroblastoma, leukemia, breast cancer, but it didn't affect healthy cells. GHK copper plus ascorbic acid suppressed a sarcoma in mice. GHK inhibited NFKB, which is believed to promote cancer growth. So you see some of the benefits there. Lung protective, number one bioactive compound recommended to treat COPD. That's why your COPD people that you share these with have such a remarkable uh, benefit in a very short period of time. Protected lung cells. Um, antioxidant activity, huge. This is what we talk about right here, stem cells. So it actually re it turns back on your stem cell factory in your body. So this is why we call them stem cell activation patches. We never want to call them stem cell patches. Folks, I want everybody to get this. This is a big thing that will draw the FDA to us if we say, hey, we have stem cell patches because they don't have stem cells in them and that implies that they do. So make sure you're always saying stem cell activation patches. But look at this, this, this is actually very meaningful to me. Increase the healing of many tissues, skin, stomach, intestinal linings, bone tissue. I'm gonna tell you how that played out for me. So here's the big deal right here. LifeWave obtained the patent on the patch technology because in 2020, LifeWave was able to prove that wearing the patch elevates the GHK copper peptide in the bloodstream. It wasn't just a guess. It wasn't just, hey, I think this works. It's blood tests and measuring the GHK copper peptide. So know with full confidence when you go out and tell people that it really does work and it does elevate that peptide. A couple more things. So in 1973, Dr. Lauren Picard put old liver cells in a Petri dish and then put GHK copper peptide in there in the Petri dish. Guess what happened? It reversed the age of the old liver cells and they started making enzymes and peptides and proteins like young liver cells. And they said, hmm, there must be something to this. That's where it all started in, since 1973. Rapid wound healing, look to the right, collagen repair and collagen destruction. Um, I'll tell you in a second, if, you have, if you're squeamish, you want to look away on the next screen, but this shows why it's important to have both repair and destruction. This one is a biggie, resets genes to a younger state. It actually resets 4,190 of our genes to a younger state. What does that mean? Well, my personal opinion is the people who have life altering health benefits in four or five days, I think what happens is there's some gene that was oxidized and damaged, the GHK repaired it, and now like a light switch turns on a function that wasn't working and all of a sudden it's on. And now they come to you and say, yeah, my this or that. And it's, you look at them like, wow, how can that ever happen? How could that even happen? It's my personal opinion. I don't know that for sure. If you're squeamish, look away. If not, here we go. This is actually the brother of Mary Hayes, who is here today, I believe. Yep, Mary. So the, they supplied me with these uh, pictures. This is her brother. He had this for eight years with constant pain in his shoulder and spine. And the doctors kind of thought it might be a lipoma, correct, Mary? But didn't know for sure. They wouldn't remove it. It's too, too invasive. They didn't even know what it was. So, and they said, don't worry about it. Well, what about the pain and all this stuff? So Mary patched him. And um, I want you to notice that it, the middle picture at the top, collagen destruction, it had to get rid of the scar tissue capsule around it so that it could ooze out and then heal over. This is why collagen destruction is important is for scar tissue. 
all over the world, athletes are using these patches. You see the football player on the right. He's got one below the navel, like is recommended. This guy has them on his forearms. Those are probably energy enhancers. This guy has one on the forehead. That's probably a Nirvana because he's a motocross racer. He's all amped up. Anxiety, I should say. But all over the world, this guy when has one on his calf. The power lifter probably has the energy enhancers on. Athletes all over the world are using these patches. I saw an interview a few weeks ago of Dick Butkus. Uh, he was talking about his experience uh, with his huge decrease in pain. You can imagine that guy was the best. I mean, you don't want to get hit by that guy. Uh, David Beckham in the middle. I mentioned uh, the energy enhancers. Our Olympic team in 2004 with Michael Phelps, they won all those gold medals. Uh, they were using uh, two of our patches, carnosine and energy enhancer, got accused of doping. Uh, by the world and USA doping agencies. And they were found it wasn't, any, it wasn't doping because nothing goes into the body. But over 300 athletes were using them in the Beijing uh, 2008 Olympics. Kind of a, a montage here of different uh, benefits. I'm actually friends with Mandy. This is Mandy from Australia. I have a better one, but you can see how she actually changes in her appearance a lot. This guy regrew hair. Um, this one, her hair turned back to brown. This guy, day one, I think this was a bike accident, day five. <laughs> this uh, MRI over here, my wheelhouse, you can't see it very well, but it's a herniated disc. Uh, Dr. Picard and his associates are actually injecting the GHK just subcutaneously over where there's a disc that's degenerated and that's how they're healing them. We just put a patch on and now we get it through our whole body. Here's Mandy again, she actually looks like that now. Um, yeah, that's amazing. This guy regrowing hair. Uh, I've known quite a few people who have grown, grown, regrown hair. This was a finger that was actually severed. The surgeon told the dad, if I try to sew that back on, it's going to die. So we need to do a skin graft and the dad insisted. And you can see the black there in the second one, it died, but then it rapidly grew through the capillaries and then it grew into a normal fingertip. Now we get to my stuff. <laughs> Here's why we incorporated them into our protocols. There was a six week brain study done with the X39 and everyone had better coherence and cognition. What is coherence? Coherence is actually, more importantly, is they're measuring hypercoherence. Coherence is how well the right and the left hemispheres are doing their job. Everything we do is processed by the whole brain, the entire brain, but every single thing we do is processed 80% on one side and 20% on the other. Like, Math, analytical thinking, uh, mostly left side, story problems in math, right side, attention center, right side. One type of attention is on the left side. So they should be able to operate independently. Uh, when we have hypercoherence, the entire brain is processing one, th processing one thing at a time. The more hypercoherence you have, the more autistic you are. So... After six weeks, everyone had less hypercoherence and better cognition. Who doesn't want more of that? Okay, so now we're going to tell a story time. I'm going to tell you a story about a band named John. Um, so Savvy mentioned, or Peter mentioned, that Savvy introduced me in March of 2020. Just a brief history. Lifetime of gut issues. I knew as a child, there's something wrong down here. I don't know what it is, but when I eat, my stomach hurts and I bloat. And over the years, I went to the emergency room four different times. They just found nothing. It was just, I had so much pain. It was so frustrating. Here, hey, there's another $2,000 bill. Um, and multiple, a series of food sensitivity tests, stool tests, 
organic acid test. I was a practitioner. I'm a practitioner. I ordered my own tests. So frustrating. No matter how many probiotics I took, no matter how much of this and that supplement I took, I got them all lined out in little things. I take these before breakfast, with breakfast, between breakfast, you know, I mean, supplement fatigue. Um, but also had PVCs, which are preventricular contractions my whole life. I, always, I knew I had those. I could run 40 or 50 miles a week. When I was running, it didn't bother me, but at rest, it would skip a beat randomly throughout. So when I started using the patches, I decided I'm going to put one right on my heart where I feel that weirdness. Uh, I already had a knee replacement re scheduled and I showed a couple of picture, uh, people the picture of my knee before the replacement and they, looked, they said, that looks like a really old man's knee. And I, it was, I was a wild skier and broke my leg and tore the, tore the knee up. So. Um, so here are the benefits that I have received in the last little over two years. And I tell you this because everybody wants to have a miracle in four or five days, don't we? Say yes if you experienced that. You wanted it to do it right now. Just like you go to a, a personal trainer and he says, okay, it's gonna take nine months to reach those goals, but you want them now. <laughs> I wanna look like that now. But here was my experience. At two and a half months, I had some really big shifts in my gut health. At four and a half months, months, my hair started turning back to brown. At five months, I had no more PVCs. And unbeknownst to me, I didn't just have PVCs because I hadn't had the echo stress test yet. I had a right bundle branch block. Does anybody in the room know what that is? Okay, you're all going to know in a minute. Here's the thing about the right bundle branch block. It's the conductivity to the right ventricle, which pumps blood to your lungs. What do you think happens when that falls behind? You can't keep up with the blood going back to your heart from your body, and then it starts to back up. So all causes of mortality go up if you have that, all. And if you have a heart attack and you have a right bundle branch block, it's pretty much a death sentence. Okay. That's me prior to the patches on the left. That was taken a few weeks ago on a Zoom. Yes, my hair was mostly gray. And I actually looked my age of almost 70 on the left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was normal. <laughs> so that journey has been um, really fun. That's how my hair started turning back to brown. Uh, Rebecca Heinrich, you know, she used to live here in Boise. She said, do you realize your hair is turning back to brown? And I said, no, it's not. Because I don't look at the top of my head. She said, it was, it's on the top of your head. So I bent over, she took that picture. And I said, oh my gosh, because that's how great it used to be in the front. But then we come to this, the heart. There was a, and I, anyone who's been in LifeWave, the same, like Savvy and Marcy, you'll probably, probably remember how I talked about this six week organ function study and how the results of the cardiovascular study showed for six weeks of wearing the patch, your cardiovascular systems acted two months younger. So I did the math and I boiled it down to simplicity. For every day you wear the patch, your heart gets a day and a third younger. Little did I know, how that was going to play out with me because I didn't know I had a right bundle branch block yet. Because two weeks before my knee replacement surgery, all of a sudden, my heart, the PVCs were every fifth beat, every fifth beat, day and night, day and night, it would wake me up. I was gasping for air because if you lose oxygen for one second, every fifth beat, how many times is that per minute? So you're not getting perfusion oxygen to out to your tissues and everywhere else. So I would, I would wake up in the night. So like, oh my gosh, I got this knee surgery coming up. I got to find out what the heck's wrong with my heart. So I made a, uh, an appointment with the cardiologist. And they get me right in. We do the stress echo. And this, this is what he said after the echo. 
he comes in and he looked at the results and he said, Dane, you, just, you know, your heart responded really well to exercise. You just have these PVCs and right bundle branch block. And I said, well, what causes that? And he said, well, we have these apoptotic cells everywhere in the body, you know, cells die off, same thing in the heart. We just can't replace them fast enough. The light switch went on. I said, this is what's happening. It's replacing them. They don't know how to beat yet. They're all beating at the same damn time. And skipping a beat, every fifth beat, boom, fifth beat, fifth beat. Two weeks after that, no more PVCs. Okay, it gets better. <laughs> so that's the cardiovascular study. And I talked about it every time I talked about the science and I didn't know how that was going to play out. So, so I had PVCs and I didn't know I had the right bundle branch block. What is a right bundle branch block? You can see it right there. It's the conductivity to the right ventricle that pumps blood to the lungs. This is from PubMed. Systematic review, significance of right bundle branch block. The aim of the current meta-analysis was to assess the effect of the right bundle branch block or RBBB on mortality outcome with acute myocardial infarction. Look at this, right bundle branch block was associated with significantly increased overall mortality in patients with AMI, skip a sentence, right bundle branch block showed considerable effect on both in-hospital mortality and long-term mortality. Associated with an incre a risk, increased risk of all-cause mortality and it in indicates a poor prognosis in patients with AMI, acute my myocardial infarction. How much do you think this meant to me? I had a second stress echo before I had sinus surgery that's a long story in and of itself, but they made me do another one because of my history and wanted to see if anything else was going on. So this is the message I got on my chart. It's an app you get on your phone. This is the doctor's um, nurse telling me that everything went to normal. He said, I've never seen a right bundle branch block go away. How much do you think that meant to my wife? Yeah. My kids. It's a big deal. So I want to tell you, if your right foot doesn't grow back in four days after you start using the patches, give it a little time. I'm just kidding. How short-sighted would it have been for me to judge the patches on even six months. I didn't know it went away until April. You see it right there, April 7th. That was almost exactly two years. We started like April 1st, 2020. Now, I don't know when it went away because I didn't have that second test. Sometime between the first echo and the second echo, it went away. Oh, the first echo was, I was only four months in. Yeah, four months in. And I want to tell you, have you ever gone through a detox using the patches? Okay, well, let me tell you, when you buy a view lot in the mountains with a hundred year old house on it, and you have no intention of living in the house, what has to happen first? Well, we're going to tear that house down and we're going to tear out the foundation it's going to get really, really ugly and dusty and messy. And then we're going to build that new foundation. And then we're going to build that house. This is what happens in your body. There are lots of companies who realize when you start wiping out viruses and bacteria and fungus and parasites in your body, you have to replace the building blocks because you're tearing stuff apart. And you have to, and they call it hydroxygen right? You have to replace the carbon and the hydrogen that's getting all wiped out. So keep that in mind when you are wearing the patches and don't prejudge or don't judge because they didn't go where you told them to. 
I know you're powerful, like the powerful Wizard of Oz, you know, but that's not how it works. And just be patient with it and understand that um, deep regeneration and healing can occur. Uh, sometimes it takes a little patience to do that. Oops, sorry. There we go. So, your own backyard or the drugstore, what do you choose? I think we choose light and frequencies and the X39. Well, that's the end of the show. And that's all, folks. <laughs> All right, are you back up? Yeah, I'll come back. Okay. Wow. Can you say one more time when your body, when your viruses and all that get, get torn down, it has to be replaced with something? I oh, a lot of companies will have um, a supplement and liquid or something uh, to replace all of the building blocks, the hydrogen, the carbon, and other things. So when, so when, when, when you start tearing things down. Tear stuff down, you got to replace it. I'll have to ask. That yeah, we can talk. Oh my God, you're I know. I don't have that. So smart. Oh, mute, mute, you guys. Zoom mute. Go ahead. Go ahead, Doc. Zoom mute? Yeah, no. Oh, okay. I wanted to tell you, how does that play out? My wife and I, when I had this heart thing, we would go on walks, especially during the, uh, the shutdown, right after I started LifeWave. And then this hill up in Foothill behind our neighborhood. And man, I... You know, I try to walk as fast. I used to be a long distance runner and I try to walk as fast as I can and then run. And I thought, man, what is that? I mean, it just doesn't feel the same. Well, the first time we did that this year, I got to the top and I said, I can't tell you how different that felt from a year ago. And I hadn't even received that from the cardiologist yet, that everything was normal. And it just confirmed the way that I felt. So I wanted to add that. You're so amazing. Are we so lucky to have you? Thank you. Would you like to do the raffle? Yeah, absolutely.